Hello, Malcolm. Hello, everyone else. Welcome back to Avorion. We're not quite at the point of designing a new star cruiser yet. Um, I have noted that our current star cruiser has some trouble with extreme combats right at the edge of the core here. So that's not a good sign. So to uh, counteract that tendency, I painted her purple. Um, no, I just painted it purple because the green was a bit much. We'll see if the purple's a bit much. Can't really tell how it looks here. Actually, it looks perfect in this sector. That must be an energy research satellite. It is. Yeah, not useful to our current plans. So, yeah, oh, look, I missed a patch. Okay, let's go get that. There's bound to be a few of those. So I chose a color called Solar Purple. I seem to like most of the solar labeled ones. There we go. Oh. See, the light just goes out on you. See how well it was lit a second ago? And then, and then nothing. I even found a piece that was still red buried underneath some other pieces. Good enough for now. So I painted her purple. I'll turn off all our weapons banks. And that's not what I wanted. I wanted to go to map. So instead of opening the core of the galaxy, I was kind of just, you know, accidentally read a bit more of the, the uh, wiki than I should. And you don't have to fight a uh, boss battle when you enter the core. At least it doesn't seem like you do. Maybe you do. But what it does seem like is you need to have allies later in the game. So we've actually been working on bringing some uh, other... Some kingdoms or dominions or whatever they are. Up to the status of being our allies. So we're working on that. And so far, here's the report on our success with politics. Uh, we'll put it by there. So all these pirates hate us, the mad science hates us, and all these other people hate us. We have worked on the Hodio Dominion a lot, and they still really hate us, but whatever. Um, so and then, you know, it kind of goes down and down and up and up. These people are all over the galaxy. Until we get to the ones that are actually allies, where it turns green. So our next destination is, in fact, I don't really know. We should be going to the democratic planets of Kowoyo. Let's just show their location and see where they are. That's not what I meant to do. Let's show their location and see where they are. And where are we? Oh. Oh, they're right on the end of a wormhole going this way, aren't they? And where are we? Oh, we're way over here. Forget it. We're just going to work on what we're working on. We warped in here and we're going to check it out. We're going to go to a hidden energy signature. And then we're going to visit these areas and check them out. Maybe try to do a little trading or whatever. Looks like their kingdom extends deep inside the galactic core, so... Perhaps they're good friends to have. Uh, we'll look up our relations with them later. We'll just do a bit of adventuring right now. Okay, let's look for any more green spots. It's unfortunate you really can't control the redness of the Avorion stone. I've painted it, and it's still just redder than heck. All right, I think she's looking okay. I don't know. If anyone hates or loves the purple, let me know. I just paint it. Uh, we probably will be redesigning it pretty soon. We're going to end up doing a long build episode, or possibly a double episode for building. So I think we're going to need something a little more potent for going into uh, the core itself. Wreckage. It's a wreckage sector, and wreckage, wreckage and rocks. Not really what we're looking for. Let's uh, go visit any of these that seem good. Uh, just looking for any military outposts or anything like that. Okay, this this one has a military outpost, so we're going to go to this one. Check for missions at the military outpost. Check what our relationship is with these guys. Um, we'll leave the guns on central command for now, because we are proceeding into friendly territory. And I think it's quite advisable to leave your guns on central command instead of on auto fire going to friendly territory, because, man, you lose relations pretty fast when you shoot up a freighter by accident, you know? 
Ah, uh, the purpleness of it. I think it's a nice color. I was really hoping to find a darker purple that worked. But the only darker seeming purple was kind of washed out looking. So this one had quite more richness to it. So we're with this for now, but it does seem a little flat. I'd like something deeper. Oh look, I hit the spacebar right as it... And it was just pure instinct, to tell you, pure instinct. Hey look, an equipment dock. Nice. Let's check it out. Nothing useful in fighters. Uh, ooh. 6 by 60 is 360 uh, damage on that chain gun. That thing ain't joking. That thing ain't joking. I don't think we're going to spend 300,000 credits on it, but it's pretty sweet. Let's check for upgrades. Nothing we're wildly looking for. We could buy that one little quantum hyperspace to keep our breeding stock going, but I don't think we will. Let's interrogate this military outpost and see what it has to say for itself. Ah, there is a Wipeout Pirates mission. Oh, look, there's another Looking for Zotan Artifacts mission. You don't get the 100 million credits. What you get is the Tanker and his friends. So we'll take the Pirates mission. And we'll go see these pirates. They're inside the galactic core. Dude. That's annoying. Well, let's just abandon that mission. So we'll abandon this distress signal because I have no idea where it even is. And we'll abandon this white pirates. Okay, sorry guys. I hope we didn't lose any relations with them as a result. That's ridiculous. <sighs> well, perhaps they have a Vorion ships, you know? Hey, look, who's he? So what we need is a civvy ship to talk to now. Cargo hauler, ship, Elmkanaf, the Emirate of Guatemala. You know, I should probably move my camera in this game so you guys can see the readout on these uh, ships better. Because it's kind of cool to have the little picture of them and stuff. This is the cargo hauler, Emkanaf. What do you want? Uh, where is your home sector? Emirate of Guahamiao Prime is it that location which we will now put on our display. It's right there, let's go. That's their prime, so let's see if they've got any interesting things going on there. And yeah, I would ask him if there's anything interesting around here, but I think we've probably heard all the messages they give. Well let's let's just ask him. No 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 a cruiser. I've lost them. There he is. Cargo hauler. Oh, it's a different one. Anything interesting around here? The research labs are getting better and better. Uh, yeah. We know. We know. We know. We know. Legendary wonders of the universe can occur. Ooh, that guy's going by at a good speed. 350 meters per second. Well, he's not exactly hauling. But it's kind of cool to see him. Although it's horrible lighting in this sector. And out we go. I like that the lighting and conditions are often very difficult. I think that's cool. You gotta watch it in a really gas-filled sector. Okay, so here's their prime. Let's just use the map to find out what's here. Mm -hmm, there's a military outpost, so we'll try a mission again. And there's an equipment dock, so we'll have a look at what they've got for sale. We could do some selling to them. I don't know if you gain relations for selling stuff anymore. You used to, but I think they may have patched that out. Um, he's got a sweet railgun turret, but I don't use them. Wow, oh, it overheats. It's just like, that's one really good chain gun. And upgrades, nothing we're really going to do. Well, we could sell and see if we gain any relations. I don't think we do, but let's check it out. Let's sell and see if we gain any relations. Oh, looks like there is actually an access lane right here. Whoops, totally muffed it. Totally muffed it. God, I'm a terrible pilot today, man. Okay. That's reasonable. We won't hit the base. And, yeah, dock up. And let's sell a few things. I mean... Oh, man, what's this? 
five by forty two. A nice chain gun, but it's not good enough for us. Let's look at this one. Nine by thirty. Overheats. Lasers, lasers. Yeah, we'll sell them a bunch of stuff. We'll see if it uh, gets us any uh, relations with them. I doubt it does. Are we supposed to sell these? Yeah, there's nothing special. And some of this stuff is worth good money. Especially the force turrets and stuff. Those are worth money. Okay, I don't want to get crazy and sell useful stuff, but... All these lower turrets we can probably just dump. Because I've been watching the turrets by DPS and... Uh, God, that better not be my dog outside. I don't think it is. I don't think he's gone sneaking out the front door. Or the back door. Uh, there is a lot of junk cluttering up our inventory here. We might as well load up. As you can see, I've earned a lot of money. Um, we did some... Why do I keep hearing dangerous sounding dog noises? You know, no, if it was my dog, the noises would continue until something, you know, stopped being alive or whatever. He's quite aggressive towards other animals. And I have to be very careful he doesn't ever get loose. Because although he probably wouldn't cause any trouble, he'd probably just run around and mind his own business. But there's the chance that he might take after someone's dog or cat or something. And then what a disaster, not cool. Um, <laughs> he's just being himself. He never really learned any better. He uh, was an abused little beast. Okay, we can sell that battery upgrade. Nice. Okay, we're not selling any of this junk here, but we'll sell that mining system. Now we're into the really good stuff, eh? Sell that cargo upgrade. Sell these generator upgrades. But we're not selling any of this stuff because we're breeding all this stuff. Trading system. That's out. Security bypass. Blingy blingy. All that stuff is out, out, out. We're trying to build another MTCS 6. We'd really like to have one, so. Trading system, C43s, velocity, security control bypass. ATCS is we're getting rid of, except for the legendary one, of course. We can get rid of that stuff, that stuff, because we've got two CTCS sixes. Energy to shield converters we don't use. Hyperspace engine upgrades we are still definitely breeding for. And we got some more stuff there. What else have we got? We've got another trading system and some ATCSs. We'll get rid of those and these battery upgrades. And these cargo upgrades, the TARDIS upgrades, it's bigger on the inside. I just found out there's, um, like, personality stuff. I gotta make sure I don't sell anything I'm not supposed to here. I better watch it. There's personality things for each group. I'll just show you in a second. It's kind of cool. Man, this is a lot of stuff. Uh, the MTCS is for keeping, but mining systems are definitely out. And yeah, we're still shooting for better radar and scanner upgrades. Because I found out 7 isn't the limit. I got one that does 8. Right, I gotta show you our new parts. Whoops, did I go too far here? Nope, perfect. So we sell from here. And that's good. And we're actually... Okay, we sell that and that. But we're actually keeping all that junk as well. Just uh, get rid of anything we're not actually using. There we go, we're done selling, and that gave us quite a bit of money, so... Let's move away from this unit. Immediate mod. And, uh, yeah, we'll check that military outpost, see if it'll give us a pirate's mission. Yeah, it will. And see if there's somewhere we can reach. Let's kind of hope so. They are. So we'll head off to do the pirates, switch our guns to automatic fire. 
And uh, we'll just pop into systems and I'll show you what we got. We did the breeding. We did the breeding. So we did get another MTCS6. And instead of using a CTCS6 with it, I'm using two ATCS5s with it. And that gave us one more military tur turret and one less civilian turret to use that configuration. So we still have one free civilian turret slot and one free military turret slot. So we're kind of hoping to get a nice gun. Not in a rush. Um, we also, this is the great part, we actually gambled on the shield. We only had three exotics to breed. We gambled on the shield and we got this. 143% shield durability, 15% recharge rate bonus, and it's got the, upon depletion, recharges 25% of your shield bonus as well. So we're still breeding for higher shield mods. We're hanging on to our previous one we were using, which is 103 and 14, and otherwise the same. Um, but we're going to breed for higher ones, because there may come a time where this ship needs to wear two shield mods instead of two radar boosts. So we've got a plus 8, plus 8 red legendary radar, and a plus 10, plus 7 legendary radar. So we are continuing to breed radar as well in the hopes of getting something really astonishing so we can put a scanner mod in. And we're continuing to breed scanners, but it's slow. And we're breeding for another MTCS-6, but it's slow, really slow getting that. Maybe we'll get some nice things out of this fight. I just heard of valuable things detected. So it's rocks, yeah, it's rocks. And the auto guns are lighting up, so... Let's look around. Is there anyone out there? Yeah, perfect. We want to head over towards this guy. And that will hopefully entice some of the other pirates out this away. I love the old auto guns blazing away on their own. It's so great. We'll just take this out. It's a pirate. And mostly the pirates and raiders don't. Whoa, we're gonna crash. Mostly they don't last. Why do we need to crash? I think I'll even back up a little. Not going to use the harvesting lasers in combat at this point because uh, I'm going to make sure my mic's tight there because I think I increased the volume here. Not using the harvesting lasers in combat because they're not effective and they seem to make me make bad targeting decisions. I'm better off just using my guns. I make better personal targeting decisions just using my guns. That's not saying I won't slip them on if we're in very close combat with an extremely heavy enemy ship. I will. But for normal combat, definitely just keep my distance a bit more than I have been. Like, don't run in on them like I just did. And just use the regular guns and count on the ship to handle herself. We now have 1.5 million shield instead of 1.1 million shield, so... That should help a lot. I haven't gotten into a fight as serious as that one we had in... I think it might have even been in the last episode. Where we lost half our shield. But uh, this gives us quite a lot more shield. And slightly more shield recharge, which is nice. Shield recharge is pretty slow, after all. Um, we can run two of these mods, and it might double up our shield recharge speed as well, doing it. Okay, I'm gonna just grab and go here. Damn, it's a little warm in the room, and I think it's gonna cook the poor computer again. Well, let's hope it all works out fine. That's gonna... the shipbuilding episode, I think I'll have to record at night with the window open or something, because it's still quite warm weather here, and uh, it's a little much for my old computer handling all this. Okay, we got uh, quite a few of these little guys surrounding us. Well, there's 600,000 credits in the offing. And if there's an asteroid, we'll sell it as well. I don't think you get any relations boost from doing a pirate kill mission, which, unless unless by chance a ship warps in that belongs to the, uh, you know, guild you're doing it for or whatever, I don't think you get anything in terms of relations. You just get the money. Which I think you should get some relations for, but I guess maybe the game is set up so that you... It can only actually do relations to things that are in sector. Who knows? I don't know much about the intricacies of software, let alone this particular piece of software. But, uh, yeah, it might be that it's set up to only be able to um, 
do stuff like relations to stuff that's in sector. Okay, we are not wanting to go in after these guys. Well, let's just run out and grab any stuff that's here. We've probably got time. I'm, I'm sure there's a time limit on the mission, but I'm equally sure that we're within it, so... Yeah, look, a couple nice things. So we'll just make sure we nab them, because easy enough to miss these things. Oops, bang. We seem to be fine with really minor wreckage collisions, but you do have to watch yourself. Collision damage is on full, and if we bump anything sizable, we take a piece off. Or worse. It's been worse. I've lost several ships that way. Quite a few on on episodes, so if you go way back in my Avorion episodes, because I've been playing this game for ages now and getting happily nowhere, you know? Like, I'm just happy to doodle around with it. Um, you'll see me lose ships and curse, for sure. It's like, how could this have happened to me, basically? But I've... I've... I've learned to be a little, oh my god, more careful, he said, flying way too close to big rocks without really seeing them. We do have to go in and winkle all these turkeys out, so... Gonna have to get close to the rocks. It's kinda bright in the room and my monitor's not that bright. Doesn't help. Oh, I'm gonna hit him. Don't hit him. Just blow him up. Don't run into him. And yeah, let's pull out away from the rocks anytime we get a reasonable tactical chance. And I love seeing the auto guns light up like that. That is so cool. Okay, let's go over and get these ones, I guess. Ah, uh, let's just get this job done over here. Oh, look, there's this fool. He's at least not hard to get to. What is it, Snoopy? There's a good dog. He's at least not hard to get to, so we'll take him right out. This game really does remind me of Hodron, actually. Really reminds me of Hodron. I expect the developer who made the game is probably younger than I am and uh, has never seen Hodron, but this game could almost be like a homage to it or a continuation of it. It really could. Like, this is what Hodron would have been if the computers had been more powerful at the time. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you know, see if you can get a copy of Hadron. I it took me a long time to find a working copy. I've got a working copy of Hadron. And it's fun. Um, due to my mouse not working very well as a joystick, I find it a little difficult to play. Um, but if you've got a good joystick, it'll be fine. And it's a pretty cool little game. It's pretty fun. I play the Apple II version because that's the computer I knew it on. And for the Apple II, it was very advanced, especially considering how er considering how early Hadron is. I forget the exact year, but it's not one of the later games. Like it's not like a DOS 3.3 game or anything. It's uh, it's an old Apple II game from when they were generally 48k units unless you bought the rather expensive expansion slot or expansion card which my family did we actually bought a drive card and an expansion card and a printer card when those things were all completely options our first printer only printed uh, something like 16 characters width of text. It was some like ancient 1950s looking thing. It was printed on what looked like ticker tape. It was like, well, that's useful. Uh, we shortly thereafter got an Epson, um, an FX80 or something like that. And that was a good printer. Uh, it lasted for ages and it was good enough that Many years later, when I was in university in my uh, late twenties, I bought an Epson inkjet printer, and it was awful. It was awful. The cursed thing was programmed to betray you. I just, oh, I couldn't believe it. I had to go have everything printed at school. I could have, well, I did stomp it to death in the back alley in my frustration with it because, you know. <sighs> After running out of ink over and over again, especially when you've got a critical paper due, finally I bought like, you know, new ink cartridges for it. It's like 70 bucks or something. It's unbelievable. 
put in the new ink cartridges and then the thing throws the belt. I'm just like, you're done. I stomped it into little pieces in the backyard and uh, disposed of it cleanly without leaving any wreckage around. And uh, bought a laser printer. Bought a little Samsung laser printer way back then. I bought it way back then, all those years ago. And it still works fine. And it never runs out of toner. I mean, yeah, it's really low on toner now. I need to get it a cartridge. But it's printed off something like 30 plus thousand full type sheets on that cartridge of toner. It's pretty incredible. Pretty incredible. And it gives nice print. It's only black and white. So, whatever. But that's all I need for printing documents and printing my own written work and stuff like that. Is, uh black and white. I don't need to print photographs of my family out. I can look at them on screen and you know when I get old I'll forget who they are anyway. That runs in my family so I can look forward to that. So why would I bother uh, trying to have artificial memories that wear out anyway? I guess that's what I'm saying. Just look at them on the screen. I'm sure the internet will last just as long as any printed copy. God, I'm gonna hit a rock. If I don't stop talking while I'm driving, I'm going to hit a rock. So, oh, doesn't she look good in purple? I think most of the colors in the game are pretty nice. I haven't been daring and tried, like, Infinity Peach Orchid or anything like that. But uh, I like this solar purple. It's it's squank. It'll do. It'll do. If it was on a car, you'd think it was horrible. But on a gigantic interstellar battleship, it's actually kind of cool. Yeah, you would think it was pretty bad if it was on a car. Okay, I'm gonna swing around a little past these rocks. I know it's a waste of time. I could just kill him from here, but I'm just gonna make it a little easier on myself. Man, these guys took a little while. They're always winkled up in a bunch of rocks, man. It's annoying. There we go. So we get 630,000, but I don't think we get any gratitude. Thank you for taking care of this scum. We transferred the reward to your account. We got 630 grand. Man, not bad. I was about to say if life was that easy, but yeah, you know, if you were actually putting your butt on the line and trying to maintain an interstellar spacecraft and get into fights with it, you know, actually, I think that would be a lot harder than anything I've ever tried to do. So, yeah, I guess it should be highly paid. Either way. What's that? Record show it's a nice looking piece. Uh we are kind of, you know, needing to gather resources little by little because I do want to redesign the ship and I do want to have enough materials to do it and I don't want to spoof in anymore. I spoofed in enough to build this ship because my previous galaxy crashed and I was just like not dealing with it. I still had to grind all the way up to get all these items. That was bad enough. I didn't want to have to grind for the materials. But I'm not spoofing anything after that, you know? Like, we brought in money and materials for the ship, that's fine. We don't do it again. We're just playing. And the most enjoyably. So I've got to gather materials on a pretty steady basis. We have a good amount of them gathered up. Oh, we got a shield mod of some kind. I hope it's the kind we want. We have a good amount of them gathered up, but I think we need more. I think we need more, so we'll keep on getting more. Now, here is a big asteroid. And we did come here in order to gain relations with folks. So, let's just see if we can creep up on that asteroid. I find my strategy is almost always to use the um, forward key and the up key while tilting the ship downwards. And that seems to give me the safest field of vision for getting through these little mazes. I don't know if that's a personal quirk or if that's a good technique overall. I don't think I'm going to try to penetrate that rock curtain. What we're going to do is we're going to map root out. Uh, we'll just take another hidden sector. And we're going to do this in the drone, I think. So let's hop out. Let's take this little thing out and hurry it up so we don't get killed out here. Wow. Things look so big from here. I don't think I'll use the booster. I'll just fly in on it. 
don't want to crash the drone, and we're pretty close. So, yeah. Claim it. Sell it. Oh, no. Who do we sell it to? Yufu or Uj? Well, we're obviously doing better with Yufu because we get... Oh, no. We get more relations with Yufu. So let's sell to Uj. Because... Uh, they're probably better with us. I don't know. We're going to have to do them both, obviously. Into the ship. Got our jump route. Pirates are attacking the sector, but it's way too rockbound, so we're just out. It's way too rockbound. Like, we're not going to try getting out of there and fighting the pirates in all those rocks. Okay, we've come to a wreckage sector. That's nice and relaxing. 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 I don't know what that means. So, Conglomerate of Uj is here, and Emirate of Guajimap is there. So let's take a look at our uh, diplomacy. Uh, oh, no, I just gotta quickly check their names again. So, it's Conglomerate of Uj, the Emirate of... Okay, let's do this. So, sort by name... Uh, conglomerate of Uj. 25,000. Good. And they're very sadistic, very peaceful, very greedy, mistrustful, paranoid, and dumb. And the other one's an emirate, if I don't mistake myself. So. There they are. And we're a little better with them. And they're very passive, very opportunistic, very greedy, and peaceful. They're probably not as good an ally to have as Uj. Conglomerate of Uj. So they're sed no, they're both very peaceful. Well, that's fine. They're gonna have to get warlike in the end. And who are these? The states of Yufu. Okay, well let's check our relationship with the states of Yufu. This place is crammed. This place is crammed. The states of Yufu. There they are. Oh, only 17,000 with them. Strict, dumb, greedy, sadistic, and mistrustful. Okay. Uh, well, let's hop around. Well, should we go to that hidden mass signature? Or should we try to stay closer to the core, actually? Let's stay closer to the core. Uh, oh, look, we didn't have our guns on auto fire. I wonder if that combat took longer than I anticipated. Hey, I gotta drink my coffee, man. Mm -mm -mm. I love coffee. Let's jump out and see what we find. No valuable objects, darn. Mm. No enemies, no valuable objects. Pretty much nothing. There's some nice Zanyan rock. I would like to release our mining fighters at some stage or another. Uh, we could go to an energy signature and visit actual people. I guess so. Look, there's an unknown hidden mass. Oh, look, there's one. No, this is fine. I'm, like, randomly picking them, but we've got 52 seconds to burn here. So let's check our inventory, put it up by the damage, and see if anything sweet came in. So we've got a laser that does 357, and we got a Xanya salvager that does 269. Let's just have a check of our salvagers. Xanyan 350, Xanyan 733, and yeah, no, uh, that's fine. We will, and we got the other ones are bloody Avorion ones, so I don't think we'll be changing. That was weird getting trapped in the core. You guys can go back and see what happened. I jumped a wormhole that landed me one inside the rift, and I was able to jump into the core, but then I wasn't able to get out. I had to change one brick of my hyperdrive to Avorion which cost a lot of Avorion to get out. So I actually had to adventure quite a lot in there to get Avorion and stuff. And it is hard in there. That's why I determined I'd get a whole bunch of money built up too. Because uh, there's no friendlies in there. Whoa. Yo. Uh, whoa. It's Botan Smugglers. Auto, auto cannons off. Switch to main. I don't want to alienate them anymore. I gotta kill these pirates? I can't do this. There's too many rocks. We're leaving. 
Why are there smugglers everywhere? The last sector I was trying to find rocks to sell in, there was like a smuggler every freaking three feet. So, I don't know. I'd like to kill the pirates, I guess. It's the Nainal pirates. We've killed them many a time, so... Now, let's go over and see if they're, like, accessible. Yeah, they look accessible. So we could help out Botan against them. Look, he's already firing on them. Or he's firing on us, actually, I think. What a jerk. Some people have no gratitude. Yeah, he's deaf. He's firing on us. He's firing on both of us. He's able to handle two things at once. He's a multi-tracker. Not me, man. I count on my auto gunners to do that work. Let's plow that thing out at range so we don't have to fool around getting too close to stuff. There, that's done. So we might be able to really improve things with Botan smugglers this way. And that's kind of cool. Like, we've killed Botan, but why shouldn't we be buddies with his old buddies? I mean, they're a bunch of thieves anyway, so... Let's see if we can slowly work up a relationship with them, you know? They don't have to hate us. They're certainly still firing on us. But we'll just take care of these pirates. Hopefully uh, they haven't killed the Botan guy. We kind of want to get paid. Oh, that pirate's a stiff one. Come on, man. Down, down, down with you. And he just goes tiny and he keeps on living. Tough little devil. Let's dive right in on this because it's clear and there's no serious rocks. Okay, States of You Foo was nice about it. Botan smugglers didn't give us anything. We got 55,000 credits for the job. Not bad, and our shields can handle whatever Botan's chucking at us. Well, we picked up a hyperdrive mod, so that's kind of sweet. Because we are trying to breed for better hyperdrive systems. No, I think there's a few more. Oops, crash, bang. Oh, no, what up? Oh, no, that's him shooting at us. I thought I was plowing into wreckage, like, most unsuitably. But that's Toad Bart shooting us. He's pretty cool. Let's go have a look at him. I don't think he's going to dent up our shields much, so... Let's go take a good look at his ship. He's, he's moving to stay away from us. Oh, no. He's greeting us. He's greeting us. That made him stop shooting. Oh, no, it didn't. Let's see if we can spot those turrets that are firing on us, eh? There they are. Looks like they're cannons. Okay, let's turn. Let's move back. So if we go around the other side of him, he probably won't be able to fire at us, hey? Unless he's got guns on both sides. He does. He's got some down on the rear on this side. Neat, man. Neat, dude. We're getting out of here. Move out of his range. We're still abhorrent with them, despite being so nice. And settling their little pirate problem for them. The useful item will probably be a stash. Yeah, it's going to be a secret stash. I don't want to pick it out of the rocks. I'm looking for asteroids to sell, mostly. Okay, switch off those. Switch our auto guns back to auto. Moving on to the next sector. Oh, no valuable objects. You always hear the little bleep before you get in, so... This one's buzzed. At least as far as that's concerned. Uh, we'll just keep trying. I don't know. How far from the core are we here? Oh, we're nice and close to the core. We're nice and close to the core. We don't want to... Yeah, that is the core rift. Silly me. That's not some... That's not some nothing rift. That's the core rift. And we took the Avorion back out of our drive after we left the core. Because I wanted to finish the game the normal way. You know, we had to put it in to escape. Because there was nothing else to do. There's no backup save games in this game. And we had to get out of there. We would have been eaten alive slowly but surely. There was no survival for us in there, so... We put the Avorion in and got out. And, uh... Yeah, now we're playing it the normal way, and... We're doing a little background work trying to make some allies here, so... 
really I should just check the next healthiest relationship and go uh, do that but I think we'll just move around the galaxy being a general Robin Hood and uh, asteroid seller valuable objects detected that's what we want here oh it's a smuggler zone so the valuable objects are in fact going to be stashes can't even scan it because it's so damn small another bust see why are there so many smugglers there's times when it's not that easy to find a smuggler so I'm a little confused that there's so damn many of them around these areas that I'm suddenly finding let's check him out uh, it's the Yugabug and they're neutral to us so we definitely don't care about improving relations with them right now they're not high on the list And I wish that was an asteroid, but it's a secret stashed asteroid. There. Oh, I almost had a scan on it. Damn. It's so hard to get an uncluttered scan. Okay. Oh, 24 seconds. Well, let's see what we've got for cargo. Ah, we haven't filled up the cargo bay very much yet. We've been just picking up all this junk off... Uh, well, a lot of this is the stuff we had to buy for um, Batan's buddy to build the thing, and he didn't take them. He was just like, good, you have the stuff, here's your thing. He didn't take the stuff. Oh, he did. I just bought more than I needed of everything. I'm a fool. He did actually take it. I just bought more than I needed of everything. So we got all this stuff. We got to sell it. I got to remember to uh, stop by trading posts and get rid of that junk. Are serious another bust. It's just a wreckage sector. Looking for asteroids to sell here. Oh, it doesn't matter which hidden mass signature we go to. Is that and that's the only piece of wreckage too, isn't it? Oh, it's quite a long ways away. It's possibly quite a lot larger than it looks. Let's hustle over there and have a look. See, I'll put on the harvesting lasers. Sometimes this larger wreckage has that problem where you can't really seem to damage it properly. That can be annoying. Was it a ship or a station? I'm thinking it was a ship. I think we'll see engines around the back if we look. Um, no, no engines visible. Maybe it was part of a station. Yeah, it's pretty large. We'll go after the obvious tasty bits like this. Oh, um, something's a little funny about that. Okay, let's pull out a little ways and try that again. Uh, yeah, something's a little funny about this wreckage here. Like, oh, no, snap, dude. Look how much damage we just did to ourselves. Luckily, we are, uh not broken. We just, I guess we badly damaged one of our big thruster blocks. So I, I don't think that was totally my fault, frankly. I really honestly don't. I think I kind of got scammed on that, so not too sure. Okay, we're gonna try this. Nothing. Yeah, I feel so ripped off right now. Okay, something's happening with this. Things are exploding, damage is coming off, but we're not seeing anything really associated with the graphics we're seeing. This happens with the game. And we are picking up some Xanion, which is nice. We just grabbed 10,000 right there. And now we dug into the core of it here. That's what I was hoping, is we'd actually burn our way through some blocks and get into some tasty energy stuff. And I think that's what we've successfully done, is... Yeah, look at that. We've got 14,000 Xanion in now. That's what we needed was to get into the insides of this thing and make a wreckage of it. And now things are associating a little better with the graphics. I can at least sort of tell what I'm doing. Although, yeah, stuff disappears so much later than you blow it up. You kind of get used to that, but... Ah, uh, well, I don't think that's a bug that's coming out of the game anytime soon, and it's not a serious problem of any type. You actually get so used to it that you can kind of anticipate where to steer the beam. Okay, we've just about overheated our uh, generator on this, and I don't think I have a route plotted out for us. Yeah, I do. 
Yeah, I do. So we'll go ahead and finish off overheating the generator because we are picking up a ton of sand. That's nice. We want it because we are going to build a bigger ship and we're going to need this stuff. So we've now picked up as much as you can buy at a typical uh, station. And we picked up some kind of turret mod, which can be really nice for us. You never know. Oh god, aliens incoming, eh? We haven't completely blown the generator yet. It's almost done. And I think we're just about to blow the generator without breaking another piece of this thing. Just looking around for a breakable piece. Yeah, it broke a couple little pieces there. When's the battery going to give out? Okay, because now we're on maximum drain of doom here. Oh, the battery hasn't given out yet, man. Are we able to just do this? Endlessly? Like, it's not shutting down the overloaded lasers. They're still working, I think. See, there's a lot of money floating in space around here. Okay, there, we just blew the battery. Okay, we'll put on our auto turrets. Get all ready, we're done. So that's how long the ship can actually harvest for before it gives up. Oh, man, another collision. Our hull's in dreadful shape right now. That's not good, is it? If I did a repair, it would be very costly, but the uh, mechanics on board are going to handle this. So we're just going to go ahead and shut down our turrets and leave. And let's hope not to have any more serious collisions. It's a good thing we didn't break anything off the ship, because I would have had to repair that at some cost. And I am not seeing any nice asteroids, so I'm going to say we're going to call the episode... Um, we're just gonna find, here's a nice place with an equipment dock and a military outpost, so we're just gonna head in there and use that as our final stop. And if it calculates that jump for us before we're done here, oh look, there's an asteroid cell. So we'll just turn on our defensive weaponry, because we know there's aliens incoming, but we're gonna try and go sell that rock just quickly, if we can. Because that seems to be the most reliable way to gain relations with folks, is to sell rocks to them. Which is awesome. It's a basic unit of the economy in this game, rocks. Uh, getting a penetration route here with aliens on the way in. Like, do I hurry and use the drone? I've never gotten killed in the drone yet, so I don't know what'll happen if I do. Can I just approach this unit? Um, have I got a jump route calculated? Yes. Can I just pull in on this thing? Uh, not really, eh? It's not pretty. No, I don't think we can, so we're gonna get in the drone and just hustle. Okay, drone. This Jenny's still charging, so I can't even boost it. Boost yet? No, no boost yet. Okay, little boost. Oh, shit, snap. I'm looking at the wrong rock. I'm gonna crash the damn drone, eh? This is the rock I need. That's why we couldn't approach it. Holy snap. Just about had a serious problem. Oh, here come the aliens. Dude, and I'm about to crash the drone. Wow. Okay, uh, who are we doing? I guess we're doing, uh, Gooch. Whatever. We're gonna have to do everyone in the area. Ah, uh, we'll make it back to the ship before they show. Good. I was pretty nervous there. We'll make it back to the ship before they show. Yep, in we go. Right on, so those guns should be on auto. Switch them over. And we'll, wow, what a lot of rocks. We'll just navulate out of here. So we're working on our relations in a bit of a disorganized fashion. Okay, so, wow, what a lot of rocks, eh? Let's see if there's any other really good rocks. So that's Uge. Relations are only good with them. Yeah, I really should... I really should... Hey, a traveler stash. Okay, a small group of alien ships. They're in the rocks. We're out. We're gonna go to friendly territory. We're out. We're gonna go to friendly territory and call off the episode after we have a look around. So, let's see what's going on around here. Man, the lighting is appalling here. Let's interrogate this equipment dock, see if they've got some nice fighters. Nothing really. We don't want attack fighters. Those will just be a pain. They'll get killed. Uh, no, nothing special there. 
And, oh, I think we're going to have to buy his hyperspace upgrades. So, this is the conglomerate of Uj. So, we will gain a little bit. Is that guy headed straight for him, too? It's a salesman. Sweet, man. Whoa, we just about hit a container field. Oh, whoa, we just about hit this station dodge. Okay, and spin and hit the brakes. Wow. I have to pay a little more attention to my piloting, man. I didn't have the lock on the station. I was looking at the salesman or something. Oh my goodness. That could have failed to work out pretty harshly. Wow, that was freaking scary. I thought I was going to hit it. I think, you know, upon reflection, I think we would have missed it anyway. But uh, that was pretty scary. I mean, I think I could have left hands off controls and probably still missed it, but this is a sizable object that could do a lot of damage to our ship. Uh, I mean, it would also harm our relations with these nice people, but I'm thinking more of the fact that we might actually die. That would be such a disaster. We've got so much nice stuff. And we're going to buy his two Quantum 3 hyperspace upgrades at an enormous cost. And we get 500 relations out of doing that. That's not very impressive. We'll buy these two little MTCS1s here as well. I don't think we'll buy any of that other stuff. We could do a sales run, but I don't think you get any relations for it. So here at Grand Quest Beta, we are done. We're going to head over towards this planet and just get some space room for ourselves so we feel a little more comfortable. Then we better spin around and hit the old braking thrust. There we go. We're outside that gassy little system. Very awesome. We got a military outpost here. So next episode, or when I play next, we'll see if it has a mission for us. Because I play a lot of Avorion in between episodes. It's a slower game than most. It takes a lot of work to get anywhere. And uh, so I do a lot of in-betweening. I think she's looking sharp in purple. Oh, subspace signals. Aliens incoming. Well, if we stay in this sector and fight them, we'll get a, we'll get a boost to our uh, relations. So, actually, I'll leave the ship a little closer. I don't want to hit a rock, mind you. But I'll leave the ship a little closer. Until we're actually in the area the aliens are going to appear. And then I'm going to shut her down. And I hope you guys had fun of Orioning around with me today. Our next episode might be a shipbuilding one. We'll see. Anyway, uh, like I said, hope you had fun. Hope you like the color purple. And we'll see you all soon for the next episode. So until that time, bye for now.